as a general rule, it is hard to get the family out of the business. And many Asian family businesses think that if the top jobs are not being occupied by family members, that the business will not continue. Um, it is true that in you know, the parts of Asia that I work, where you have a traditional family, the family system tends to be somewhat of a closed system and inward looking. And, and so there can be a cultural trait of not trusting outside family, you know, non-family members. But if your goal is to continue the prosperity of your family system, then paradoxically the way to do that is to open up your system a little bit and bring in new ideas and new input. So where I've seen family businesses in Asia who do have senior level non-family professionals and executives, those non-family professionals make a significant contribution and help keep the family on track and, and planning for the future. If you are a non-family member professional thinking about joining a family business, you know, the reality is that there is often a glass ceiling. Um, but on the plus side, you know, family businesses in Asia can be very much values-led businesses. So if you enjoy the values of the family, if there's a good fit, it may be a nice place to work. If uh, family businesses tend to take a longer term view and uh, Asian family businesses will look after their employees if they've been trusted. So there are some pluses for coming and working in the Asian family business. Many Asian family businesses don't have a strong distinct professional brand. So the fear is that if they bring in a smart professional, the smart professional learns, how, learns, their, learns their business tricks and then goes away and starts up a competitor business. And um, so that is, that is a fear.